scientists have created a brand new colour and it looks something like this. The only way you can see it though is by having laser light fired directly at the cells in your eyes. The new colour has been named Olo and it only exists because of the way in which our brains see colour. Human colour vision works by our brains interpreting signals from three different types of light receptor cell in the eye, known as cones. Each cone responds to a different range of colours of light, and these ranges overlap, so it's the combination of how much each cell type fires that the brain uses to judge colour. Now, a team of researchers has developed a way to stimulate only specific cells. They scanned each person's eye to map their cones and used motion tracking to latch onto each one's position. Then, to make the colour Olo, they used tiny doses of laser light to activate the middle wavelength M cones. Now, usually the M cones range overlaps with one of the other two, so under natural conditions, it would never fire by itself. That means the brain has never experienced this M-only signal before, and it perceives it as an unprecedented colour. Five people in the experiment were shown this new colour, and this is the closest match they could find for it, except that Olo is way more saturated. The participants found that they had to add in lots of white light to wash out the Olo enough so that it matched with what you're seeing here. As well as helping researchers understand how our brains create colour, this technology might someday also lead to a treatment for colour blindness. Colourblind people often have two types of cone instead of three. The team hopes that they might be able to artificially stimulate certain cones to create the equivalent of a third type, allowing colourblind people to distinguish colours that they otherwise couldn't. This hasn't been tested yet, and right now the technology is not something that you can get up and walk off with. So a treatment for colour blindness and the colour Olo are both a long way from leaving the lab.